Well, we have parcel. Will it be the correct one? Because I only got this by the pictures. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let's do an unboxing video. <laughs> Will it be the correct one? That's a big box for a little box. There we go. Did I get this right? Just via photos. Ooh, looking good. It is looking, oops, get the light off me. That looks the same to me. By Job, I think I lucked out just by getting, just by the pictures on the screen. Oh, it's gonna be dark in a minute, I wanna go fit it. Oh well. Yes, happy days, I reckon that's the same one. Shriek. Happy days. Okay, here we go, new master cylinder. I'm gonna put it there. So what I first thing I need to do is, this is the little adapter that was off the old one. Goes in there and I've got this here and this here. Have this bolt, oh, that bolt and that bolt and then this here in the middle. See that? That is the push rod which goes in to there. So what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna put this on there, bolt it on and then I'll show you in a second. Right, that is the master cylinder in. The thing is, I can't bench bleed this because uh, I, I would normally bench bleed first, but the way this is situated on here, the angle it's at, it goes at a weird angle like that. So when it's in, I can't really get to any of the pipes to put them on. So I'm gonna have to do this without bench bleeding it. So what I'm gonna do now is put these pipes in. This pipe goes into there. Uh, that one goes into there, that one goes into there, this pipe goes onto there. So what I'm going to do is I'll do these up and I'll start messing around trying to get the washer bottle on. Okay, all pipes are now attached. Now it's the job of getting this and these little things on the bottom here into these holes. But these holes are, can be a bugger to get into sometimes. So um, yeah, let's give this a try so if I can get them out. Well, because they're new ones, they're hard to get in sometimes. Oh. Come on. Oh. Well, I'm gonna do this. Hang on, give me a sec. Okay, washer bottle, weird twisted washer bottle is now on. So, time to fill this up with brake fluid and stop bleeding the brakes. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got to take this bleed nipple out and put it in there. Put it in there. That could have been costly. <laughs> Better do that now. And there we have it, we have a problem. This will not come out and it's just rounded off. Um, I've WD forted the crap out of it. And I don't have anything else to block that hole. Uh, it needs to be a drain, a bleed nipple. Um, bugger. I'll have to put this in the vise and see if I can get it out somehow and reuse it. And we got it in using no grips. <laughs> Whatever works, right? <laughs> right. This, um, chop this up with fluid and stop bleeding. Okay, here we go. I've got the gun on, this goes to the bleed nipple, this goes to the bleed nipple. What I'm gonna do is pump up the pressure. Put the pressure as high as I can. And then release this. Pressure should drop, should start sucking air through. I'll just get on with it, shall I? Only problem with this tool I found 
is no matter what you do it always seems to have let air through it it's it always seems to have air bubbles in it do you know what i mean no matter how tight i get this on and i've put some of that special tape around the the uh, threads on the the bleed nipple but it always seems to let air it's always a flow of air bubbles even when it's working properly which is really confusing why is that not building pressure Why is that not building pressure? There we go. See, I don't know if you can see this, right? Look at this, right? Look, you can still see air coming out. Going into the bottle, pressure's going down, but there's always still air bubbles, no matter what I do. But then if I was to jump in the vehicle and pump the brake, there'll be no air bubbles. It's this machine, just always, so you can never bloody tell. I actually need somebody here to help me do it, to be fair, to sit in the car and do it old school style. I prefer that, because you get a decent reading. But. Okay, after a lot of messing around, I've bled all the brakes. I know I was supposed to make a video about it, but it was such a ball ache to do on my own. That bloody tool, just kept letting, letting air in. So what I'd done in the end was, I got me a jack handle. Um, I started, in, you know, the furthest point, blah, 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 up a rear, front, front, you know, you know the sequence. Um, basically, I put a tube from the bleed nipple into a bottle full of brake fluid. So if it backed up, it just stuck fluid up, um, wouldn't let air back into the system. And then I just got in the, I broke off each one, got in the vehicle, pumped the, the bloody pedal over and over and over until I could hear it squirting, pushed, used the brake handle, the jack handle to hold the pedal down, <laughs> ran to the back or wherever it was, and then um, done the bleed nipple up and, and looked and the pipes were completely full of fluid, no air at all. Done it on each corner, we got a solid uh, brake pedal, Everything's good. Car finally has brakes. Thank God. So now I've got to stop putting this back together. Now I've got to stop putting all the carbs and stuff back on. Thing is, I want to, I want to give it a good bloody clean though. That's the thing. I want to give everyone a bloody good clean first. But for now, I think I'm just going to put put it back together for its MOT. Yes. So. That's all that had to be done for its MOT. I want to get it out when I get a chance after work tomorrow, maybe. Um, test out the brakes, I think they're good. Um, go for a drive up to the, well, book an MOT, go for a drive up to the MOT station, get it MOT'd. Um, then, yes, I know I'm meant to be having it in the workshop and customizing it. People are, why are you MOTing it? Because I still want to drive it. <laughs> you know, it, it was, if I'm able to drive this whenever I want, it will still spur me on to keep on the project. I know what my ADHD is like. If it's not fun, or engaging, I'll just lose interest and give up and not care. So being able to drive it will keep me interested. And I still want to be able to use it, do you know what I mean? So when I fit some new coilovers and slam it, I want to test drive it, do you know what I mean? So I need it MOT'd. Anyway, I'm going to get on with putting this back together. Now, just to put the battery back on. Well, that is the end of, ugh, that is the end of that video. A little listen. Happy days, happy days. Right, next thing to do is see if we can get it MOT, take it for a test drive. Sounds spot on. Brakes feel, it's feeling a bit spongy, but I think I need to get it out on the road and pump them a bit more. But um, yeah, they're bled. It's got no um, no servo, no, no booster, so it's just like a beetle, basically. <laughs> it's um, just master cylinder and four calipers, well, two drums, two calipers. So 
yeah anyway thanks for watching this really short crap video but um the fun stuff will come soon trust me but for now i'm getting all the dirty crap done okay till the next one